Lost Love Part 2 The Enchanted Reunion The anticipation built up inside me as the months slowly passed and the day of the village's reappearance drew near. I couldn't shake off the memories of Mary's captivating presence and the enigmatic village that had ensnared my heart. I longed to return, to find answers to the questions that haunted my thoughts. Finally, the day arrived, heralded by the golden rays of the morning sun. I set off on my journey with a mix of excitement and trepidation. The road seemed to stretch endlessly before me, teasing me with the promise of discovery. As I approached the spot where the village had materialized before, I couldn't help but marvel at the ethereal beauty that had enchanted me the first time. As I entered the village, a sense of familiarity washed over me. The villagers greeted me warmly, their eyes filled with recognition. They welcomed me back as if I were an old friend, and I couldn't help but feel a sense of belonging in their midst. I wandered through the narrow streets, taking in the quaint houses and the rustic charm that permeated every corner. My heart raced as I searched for Mary, hoping to catch a glimpse of her familiar form amidst the bustling village. Finally, our eyes met, and a smile of recognition and longing graced her lips. She hurried towards me, her steps filled with a mix of joy and apprehension. I knew you would come back, Mary whispered, her voice filled with a blend of relief and vulnerability. I couldn't stay away. I replied, reaching out to hold her hand. I had to find you again. We spent the day in each other's company, savoring every moment, as if time had slowed down just for us. We strolled along the cobblestone paths, lost in conversation, as if the world beyond the village ceased to exist. The enchantment of our love seemed to mingle with the very air we breathed, binding us in a tapestry of emotion and desire. But as the sun began its descent, casting long shadows over the village, a somber mood settled upon us. We knew what the impending nightfall would bring, an end to our ephemeral reunion. It was a cruel fate, yet one that we had come to accept. We found solace in each other's arms, vowing to cherish the remaining hours we had together. We whispered promises of eternal love, hoping that our words would somehow transcend the boundaries of time. The village around us seemed to echo our emotions, as if it too understood the fleeting nature of our connection. As twilight painted the sky in hues of orange and purple, the villagers gathered in the central square. It was a melancholic sight, a bittersweet gathering of souls bound by a shared destiny. We held hands, seeking strength in our unity, as the village began to shimmer with an otherworldly glow. In that moment, I knew the time had come to bid farewell once more. Tears streamed down our faces as we clung to each other, desperately trying to hold on to a love that defied the passage of time. I will wait for you, Mary whispered, her voice barely audible over the collective murmurs of the villagers. Promise me you'll return. I promise. I replied, my voice choked with emotion. I will find my way back to you, no matter the odds. With a final, lingering kiss, I reluctantly released my grip on Mary's hand and began to make my way back to the outskirts of the village. Each step felt heavier than the last, my heart torn between the love I had found and the knowledge that I had to leave it behind. As I reached the edge of the village, I cast one last glance over my shoulder, memorizing the image of Mary standing amidst the fading lights of the village square. The village shimmered one final time before vanishing into the night, 
leaving me alone with my memories. And so, I returned to the outside world, forever changed by my encounters with the village and the love I had found within its mystical embrace. I vowed to spend the following years seeking clues, researching the village's history, and uncovering the truth that lay hidden beneath its elusive nature. The passing years held a quiet determination within me, fueling my pursuit of knowledge and guiding my steps towards the village's next appearance. I delved into ancient texts, consulted historians, and traversed distant lands in search of answers. The closer I got to unveiling the village's secrets, the stronger my resolve became. Finally, after years of tireless research and preparation, the day of reckoning arrived. Armed with newfound knowledge and an insatiable curiosity, I embarked on the journey once again. This time, I was determined to unravel the mysteries that had eluded me before and, perhaps, find a way to break free from the village's cyclical enchantment. But as I neared the spot where the village should have materialized, a sinking feeling gripped my heart. There was nothing. No village, no shimmering lights, just an empty expanse of meadow bathed in the fading light of dusk. Confusion and disappointment washed over me, threatening to drown my hopes. Had my research led me astray? Had I misunderstood the signs and portents that had guided me for so long? Doubt gnawed at my mind, but I refused to give in. With renewed determination, I vowed to continue my search, to delve even deeper into the enigma that was the village. The love that had blossomed between Mary and me was too profound to be confined to the pages of history. Somewhere, Somehow, there had to be a way to bridge the gap between our worlds. And so, my quest continues, fueled by the memories of an extraordinary love and the tantalizing possibility of rewriting fate. I will not rest until I uncover the truth behind the village's cyclical existence and, ultimately, find a way to be reunited with Mary, my love from a realm beyond time. The path ahead may be treacherous, and the answers may elude me still, but I press on, driven by an unyielding belief in the power of love and the resilience of the human spirit.